Shana Halil there enjoying the tennis in Melbourne, even though it's incredibly hot there. Everyone taking time for ice creams and cool drinks, it seems to. Just to let you know, Novak Djokovic has won the first set against Roberto Caballes and is up, it seems, in the second. See you again tomorrow. Bye bye. Hello, welcome. This is Impact. I'm Kasia Madeira. As the battle for Bakhmut intensifies, we follow a Ukrainian tank unit who hope new tanks from the UK and other countries will make a material difference. A savage artillery war that has raged for months with precious little progress on either side. The exiled Belarusian opposition leader Svetlana Tsikhanovskaya has dismissed the trial taking place in her absence as a farce. China's population falls for the first time in more than six decades, indicating that a long-term decline may have begun. Brazil's Attorney General has filed an indictment against 39 people for their alleged involvement in the storming of the Senate building on January the 8th. That's all coming up right here on Impact. Hello, welcome to the program. We're starting in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region, where Russian authorities claim that they have taken control of the city of Solidar. But this has been denied by a Ukrainian army spokesperson who said that fighting there is continuing. Well, troops on the front line there have told the BBC that they welcome the news from the UK that they're to receive around a dozen Challenger tanks, a move that they hope will turn the tide in the war. The BBC's Andrew Harding has spent some time with a tank unit near Bakhmut. He and his team have sent this report. Svetlana Tsikhanovskaya there, the opposition leader, one of the opposition leaders of Belarus, who is standing trial in abstentia, speaking to my colleague Lucy Hawkins there. Lots more on our website. Stay with us here on Impact, because still to come for the first time in more than 60 years, China's population has fallen, a decline linked to Beijing's one-child policy. We'll be getting the latest from an expert on China's population and economy growth. Hello, welcome. You're watching Impact on BBC World News. For the first time in more than 60 years, China's population has fallen. The decline is linked to Beijing's one-child policy, which was imposed in 1980, and it could mark the start of a long-term fall in numbers. Now, this is despite government efforts in recent years to encourage people to have more children. As always, lots more on all of our stories. I'll be back in a few minutes. Get in touch at Cash and Madeira on Twitter. It would be lovely to hear from you. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Hello, welcome. You're watching Impact. I'm Kasia Madeira. As the battle for the Ukrainian city of Bakhmut and nearby Solodar continues, we follow a Ukrainian unit who hope that new tanks due to arrive from the UK will make a difference. A savage artillery war that has raged for months with precious little progress on either side. And more than two decades after the Gujarat riots, a new BBC documentary takes a look at the legacy of the events and how it's affected India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi. All of that and much more coming up right here on Impact. Hello and welcome. 
Nearly 21 years off since the Gujarat riots in 2002, a new BBC documentary takes a fresh look at the legacy of the events and how it's affected India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who was Chief Minister of the state at the time. John Donison reports. Member of the European Parliament, Evin Insir, I know you'll be voting on that non-binding resolution on Thursday. Thank you very much for bringing this to our attention and for your time as well here. Thank you. Uh, much more on all of our stories, of course, on our website as well. Don't go away because still to come, we'll be looking at the Sri Lankan cabinet's delays paying the salaries of certain state sector employees by up to a week. And this is due to the worsening financial situation there. Hello, welcome back. You're watching Impact on BBC World News. The Sri Lankan cabinet has decided to delay paying the salaries of certain state sector employees by up to a week. It's due to the worsening financial situation. Last week, the government said the economic crisis this year would be worse than expected, with all ministries ordered to make a 5% reduction in spending. Well, our South Asia regional editor, Ambarasan Etharajan, has been following this for us. So just in terms of who's being targeted in, in, in this delay in getting their salaries, who are we talking about? And just time to bring you reports from Thailand, which say that several people have been injured after this oil tanker exploded in the province of Samut Songkram. Several workers are reportedly missing. Houses were damaged after the explosion. Rescuers are trying to control the fire and evacuate those injured. It is not clear yet what caused the explosion at the dock, which is around 80 kilometers southwest of the capital, Bangkok. We will bring you updates and investigation is underway. Lots more on our website. As always, I'm on social media at Kesha Madeira. Do get in touch. It would be great to hear from you on Twitter. Bye bye. Welcome, you're watching Impact. I'm Kasia Madeira. As the battle for Bakhmut intensifies, we follow a Ukrainian tank unit who hope that new tanks from the UK and other countries will make a material difference. A savage artillery war that has raged for months with precious little progress on either side. We will be speaking to a former British military intelligence officer for analysis. Also coming up, the exiled Belarusian opposition leader Svetlana Tsikhanovskaya has dismissed the trial taking place in her absence as a farce. China's population falls for the first time in more than six decades, indicating that a long-term decline may have begun. All of that and more coming up here on Impact. Hello, a warm welcome. We're starting in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region. It's where Russian authorities claim that they've taken control of the city of Solidar. This has, however, been denied by a Ukrainian army spokesperson who said that the fighting there is continuing. Well, troops on the front line there have told the BBC that they welcome news from the UK that they're to receive around a dozen Challenger tanks, a move that they hope will turn the tide in the war. The BBC's Andrew Harding and his colleagues have spent some time with a tank unit near Bakhmut. They've sent us this report. Stay with us here on Impact, still to come on the programme. For the first time in more than 60 years, China's population has fallen. A decline linked to Beijing's one-child policy. We'll have an interview with an expert on China's population and economy.
welcome back. You're watching Impact on BBC World News. For the first time in more than 60 years, China's population has fallen. The decline is linked to Beijing's one-child policy, which was imposed in 1980, and it could mark the start of a long-term fall in numbers. Now, this is despite government efforts in recent years to encourage people to have more children. As always, we have much more on our website, and it would be lovely to hear from you on social media, at Kasha Madeira on Twitter. Do send me a message about any of the stories we've covered here on Impact. I'll be back shortly. Bye-bye for now. Hello, welcome. You're watching Impact. I'm Kasia Madeira. As the battle for Bakhmut intensifies, we follow a Ukrainian tank unit which hopes that new tanks from the UK and other countries will make a material difference. A savage artillery war that has raged for months with precious little progress on either side. The exiled Belarusian opposition leader Svetlana Tsikhanovskaya dismisses the trial taking place in her absence as a farce. China's population falls for the first time in more than six decades, indicating that a long-term decline may have begun. All that and more coming up right here on Impact. Hello and welcome to the program. We're starting in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region, where Russian authorities claim that they've taken control of the city of Solidar. But this has been denied by a Ukrainian army spokesperson who said that fighting there is continuing. Well, troops on the front line have told the BBC that they welcome news from the UK that they're to receive around a dozen Challenger tanks, a move that they hope will turn the tide in this war. The BBC's Andrew Harding has spent some time with the tank unit near Bakhmut, he sent us this report. Uh, we will be following the story and hopefully we'll bring the lead details. We will be back with you, I'm sure, the moment when we uh, get any more details. For the time being, Zaguna Kaga, thank you very much for just bringing us that because, as Zaguna was saying, it is a big development. We are, of course, monitoring that. So stay with us here on BBC World News. Stay with us here on Impact. We will be next looking at China because for the first time in more than 60 years, the country's population has fallen, a decline linked to Beijing's one-child policy. We'll have an interview with an expert on China's population and economy. Welcome back. You're watching Impact on BBC World News. For the first time in more than 60 years, China's population has fallen. The declines linked to Beijing's one-child policy imposed in 1980, and it could mark the start of a long-term fall in numbers. And that's despite government efforts in recent years to encourage people to have more children. Professor Kapila there from the University of Cambridge. While we're talking about Narendra Modi, just time to tell you that the Pakistani Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif says he's offered to hold talks with his Indian counterpart part to address areas of disagreement between the two nations, including the dispute over Kashmir. Speaking to Al Arabiya, Mr. Sharif said that war between the two countries brought nothing except misery, poverty and unemployment. There has been no comment from the Indian Foreign Ministry on the talks. We'll of course monitor that, monitor all the news for you on our website, but for me and the Impact team, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hello there. It's looking very unsettled across the southern half of Europe. 